Hey fam, it's me again. My name is Shy. Now joining me today is a breakout artist behind the hit song 17, Honesty, and a little something that you just may know. It's called At My Worst and has over 10 million monthly streams on Spotify and still counting as we speak. So please welcome on the show, Pink Sweat. Hey. Hey, how are you? Hey man. Great. Is it a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are right now? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say morning. Why not? All right. <laughs> All right. Good morning. And yeah, welcome to the show. I hope you're doing great. And I'm sure you feel great. You, you flex your nails to me a little bit earlier. And I want to just see that a bit. Number one for the Philippines. <laughs> yes, because you are the number one in the Philippines. We're so, we're so glad for your nails and for your music and for you, of course. So, yeah, it's a great hit. It's a really great Thank hit. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Aw. Well, we want to know more about you and your songs, of course. So, let's just start off with something uh, uh, pretty obvious, which I'm sure you've had this question thrown at you a million times plus more. Why pink sweats? <laughs> Why pink sweats? So I, when I didn't have this, like, I didn't have a lot of money or anything. I just happened to go into a store. They had a pair of pink sweatpants and they kind of were one of the only pants that were my size uh -huh. and they were on sale. So then <laughs> I got the pants and then I just, I just wore them every day. And, um, Someone called me Pink Sweats one day, and I was like, cool. Like, that's a cool that's name, I guess. Yeah, and I just, <laughs> I didn't put much thought into it, honestly, because I, I wasn't expected to be sitting here talking to you. And when I did it, <laughs> I was Aww. just like, I was just, you know, I was just being myself, making music. And that's, I, I had like, obviously I had a dream, but you know, I don't know if I was like thinking a hundred percent that like, yo, this is, I'm gonna be pink sweats and like uh -huh. wear pink sweats. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, you know, it, it's sometimes they say the best things are the most simple, and that's for me. It was just that it was just simple. Everything was just I was it wasn't planned. Oh, that's that's good to know because I have I think that. The choice of color <laughs> resonates with so much people because, of course, you know, not not everybody's comfortable with guys wearing pink stuff or whatever, right? But hey, it really worked out so well for you. And I don't know, <laughs> I, I, I think you look great in anything pink, in any color whatsoever, in your really you know, bright yellow mustard color right now. You look great either way. So I'm pretty <laughs> sure you've got no regrets with uh, with the pink sweats thing, right? Thank you so much. No, no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> That's good to know. Now, uh, how about this? Well, here's a question that we got from a fr um, from a fan. What makes you different from the other artists you know that came before you in terms of musicality or overall package? Oh wow, that's a beautiful question. No one's ever asked me that before. <laughs> I would say, I would say, what makes me different is my set of experiences. Mm -hmm. One, number two, my, you know, my intentions. I feel like for me, I try to be intentional about whatever it is that I'm doing musically because I just believe in the power of music as something a lot stronger than people give it credit for. You know, I think that music could be a healer. It could be a, a soother. It could be... It can get you riled up. <laughs> it could uh, it could be a global connection too, and I feel like in my mind I wanted to connect to people all around the world through song, and that was that was the intention, and it ended up happening. Obviously, we're talking now, and for me, I think intention is one of the biggest things that makes me different because. Every every step that I'm taking is conscious, and I'm aware that you know of what I'm what I'm trying to do, and to to make and pave a way for someone else to do it, bigger and better than me. You know, doesn't matter where they're from. I want I want kids to be able to see my music and 
and think to themselves like, man, I can do it. Like he just made some random music on his laptop and talked about love and like his experience, like life. Like why can't I, why can't I do the same thing? So yeah, that's intention. I love what you said earlier about you know um, they're, they're, um, you want to to inspire others to even maybe be better than you you know because it's so great and refreshing to hear that you know musicians just want to help others and inspire and make other people even be better than yourself right it's it's not a competition it's really just there it's it's something to inspire others to also inspire you know so that's really good thank you so much for sharing that now um let's talk about right exactly right <laughs> let's okay, i have about, a question <laughs> what's that no 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 i was saying your cat has a question oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> asking the question or not let's move on <laughs> Excuse you, rude. <laughs> All right, um, your hits are just everywhere right now. Um, music streaming platforms, TikTok even, and yes, I do follow you on TikTok. There are hey. tons of covers everywhere. What can you say about the, so to speak, attention <laughs> that you're receiving? How are you taking that right now? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, um, I, I try to talk to people on my uh, messagings and like DMs and stuff. But um, no, I'm just a regular guy. I'm just very lucky and blessed to be in the position that I'm in. But yeah, I'm not, uh, it's, it's whatever. To me, like I, I don't let it get to my head. Like I, I genuinely am just humbled and grateful that people even want to hear my music. But um, yeah, it doesn't, you know, also I'm 28. Like I'm not like 15 or, like I've, I've been homeless, like I've been broke, like I've just been so many phases in life where I'm just, I'm very aware that this is all a blessing and I'm extremely grateful and I, it doesn't get to my head at all, honestly, I, I just take it one day at a time. Started from the bottom, now we're here being interviewed by many <laughs> countries. It makes me feel proud of you, <laughs> you know? Oh, thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Now, um, I want to do a really quick speed round. And um, this is basically to answer Google's most asked questions about Pink Sweat. I don't know if you've ever tried to Google yourself, <laughs> but I did for you. <laughs> I, I did. Honestly, you know what? I, when I first started, I Googled myself. And then uh, rec recently, I Googled myself. But you'll never guess why. Um, um, to see your photos, to see the the tabloids about you, what? <laughs> no, because I was trying to uh, trademark pink sweats, but you can't trade. It was like hard to get it because pink sweats are an actual thing. It's a product, you know. Yeah, so it's I'm like sure. I would, and then also I wanted to see, like if my name would start popping up before like a random pair of pink, pink sweatpants, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that's why I typed it in like to see like, okay, like when I type my name in now, is it gonna recommend me like a pair of pink sweats or is it gonna like show me, you know? And in, in your case, at the time of the time you Googled, um, what came out? Oh, in the beginning, oh my goodness, it was just, Net for me. <laughs> it was all advertisements me. of different kinds of things. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, now, now, obviously, my name shows up, but um, I'm also like curious because is it because I've searched it before or is it because of something else? You know, I don't know. Like, if you Google it, will you think my name will show up or will Pink Sweatpants show up? It's your name that shows up, actually. The first time I Googled your name oh. when I first heard your song, I, I just Googled Pink Sweats as in the right, correct spelling of Pink Sweats, you know, the letter S. Yeah. And yeah, your name came out. So it was it's actually well known to Google that oh. you are Pink Sweats is Pink Sweats. <laughs> that's lit. Aw, that's so cool. And I, I'm so happy I made you smile this way. <laughs> Yeah, that's so cool. I, I, honestly, I was always curious because I never asked anybody. I guess I was like so conscious to ask, but Aww. that's so cool. 
thank you for thank you for asking me though. <laughs> but yeah, when I do the pink sweats, you're exactly what comes out. That's great. Wow. That's so awesome. now it's time for us to answer a few of the questions that um, some that Google could could not yet answer, and we're hoping that you would. You know. Okay. All right. It's an easy one, I think. Where is pink sweats from? I'm from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Um. Uh. uh Liberty Bell, um, all the good stuff yeah. from National Treasure, right? Yep. <laughs> That's right. Now, you mentioned this earlier, how old is Pink Sweats? So you're 28, right? I'm 28, yeah. Oh, here's a good one. Is Pink Sweats married? Yes, this wasn't Google. Really? No, I'm not married. No. <laughs> well, this one is from me. Does Pink Sweat have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> I have a girlfriend, yeah. Yeah, I think I actually saw her on TikTok, yeah. Um, how about this one? How old was Pink Sweats when he started singing? When I started singing? Oh, I was probably young. I think oh, yeah. the first time I sang, it was probably like in a choir at church. We had like a big choir when I was young. Um, and my dad, like, he put me to sing there. So probably like... Six, seven, eight, maybe. Yeah. And when did you decide to uh, try to go professional with your music? 2018. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty recent. Yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. And finally, what type of music is Pink Sweat? Oh, Pink Sweats is whatever kind of music I feel at that moment. Because one day it could be R&B. And the next day, I could be making like pop or anything because I'm a uh, I'm a creative, you know. Like sometimes it's it's hard for people to understand because like I'm a songwriter and a producer before I'm an artist. So mm -hmm. it's like before I was doing my own music, I was writing songs of every genre for other people. So it's mm -hmm. like. I, I don't really consider myself like one genre. It just like depends on the vibes, you know? All right, yeah. well, I feel that you're such a feel good artist. I don't know. Yeah. Like when, when I've, been, I've listened to a few of your songs and I've always felt like, hey, this guy's so feel good, you know? There we go. <laughs> uh, that should be a genre, feel good. <laughs> <laughs> feel good should be a genre. Take it for, be the first artist in a feel good genre. <laughs> yeah, that somebody should create that, feel good music. <laughs> yeah, you should pioneer that, you know? <laughs> well, here's another, <laughs> here's another question. Um, who does Pink Sweat collaborate with? Well, I'd rather ask, who does Pink Sweat want to collaborate with? I want to do a song with, uh, with, um, oh, it would be nice to do a song with Kanye. And, and I want to do a song with Justin Bieber. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Because I feel like musically, Kanye West is on, like, some different stuff right now and I, I think it's 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 pretty cool like the direction he's taking and and Justin's just he's just a good guy so over time it's like man like I used to listen to his music and then to know him it's like you wanna like oh shoot like we should do stuff together Aw, well, I cannot wait for that collaboration, you know, Pink Sweat featuring Kanye West or Pink Sweat featuring Justin Bieber. I will <laughs> definitely get that song when, when that finally comes out. And I guess that's actually all the questions that, uh, well, currently all the questions that I decided to pick out from Google. Thank you so much, Pink Sweat. Thank you. Yeah, now let's talk about your new album, um, The Prelude. Tell us all about that. The album The Prelude is... I guess I, I explained it to uh, someone the other day and I'll put it like this. The prelude is like uh, the airplane, you know, it's like you get on an airplane to go somewhere. That's the prelude. And then like I have the Pink Planet, which is like my, my full length album. That's the destination, you know, it's like you're traveling and the prelude's kind of preparing you for your destination. You get a little snacks on there. You know, if you sit in first class, you might get a massage. You're like, oh man, this is like a nice journey. <laughs> and then the pink planet is 
the final destination is the arrival of like uh you know where, where you get to be your true self and you know i remember i did a trip one time with my friends and uh i were in it like a place and we just allowed ourselves to be raw and like you know one day we'll wake up and like be super emotional like man like this is so crazy like we might cry or something just thinking of like how much life has changed in, in a good way and reminiscing on like hard times or like when we didn't really know what we were doing and like i want people to come to the pink planet and feel like yo like this place is for anybody you know what i mean good people like if you mean and you like and you don't don't come <laughs> But like if you're if you're a good person and you you just want to be your authentic self, whatever that means to you, I think Pink Planet is a place for you. Now I want to go and check out the Pink Planet. <laughs> 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 All right, but of course you guys could also check out uh, the album Prelude. All of those music streaming platforms, you know what to do, you know where to go. Go check out Prelude, the Prelude rather by Pink Sweat. Now I've got one more question for you before I bid adieu to you. Are you ever gonna get tired of wearing pink sweats? Um, I don't think so. I don't wear pink all the time, so. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll get tired of it. I think I'll get tired of people um thinking that I should wear it all the time, but I I, I won't get tired. I I always be myself. Like I'm wearing yellow today. Yeah. I, I like a, a yellow fit on. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole uh, ensemble yeah. yellow, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you look I'm great the sun. yellow either way. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that's it. Thank you so much, Pink Suez. It was such a fun time with you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Now I gotta go. And of course, you guys check out again the preload by Pink Sweats all over the internet. You know where to go, what to do. So yeah, thanks so much again, Pink Sweat. I gotta Thank go. You. And love this everybody in the Philippines. I love you guys. Else. Wait for the collab with Kanye and Justin Bieber. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.